Mountain News at 5.30. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. Lawrence County students are thankful to get another day of Thanksgiving break this year. However, it comes after a drain fire, melted pipes, and caused quite a stir Friday. WIMT's Marion Fletcher shows us how officials believe the fire started. The fire began near the backside of Louisa East Elementary School. And there was wood, leaves kind of shoved back into the pipe. Purely speculation, but we think someone was trying to stay warm. Heat and smoke from the fire traveled through the school's pipes until it reached the front of the building. So you have all the heat kind of rising because it's down close to the river, so you're kind of coming up. So you have the heat and the smoke rising to come up to higher ground. And so it's all coming out on this side. Now officials are working to assess the damage. Part of that process, you have to close off the gas, uh, the gas lines that go into the building. And of course our building's heated by gas. All Lawrence County schools will not reopen until December 2nd. We have to flush that out in order to run that camera system back in. The camera resembles a remote control car with a lens on the front. And when you run that camera system back in, we can really see what the extent of the damage would be. However, it only traveled around 39 feet before finding a ditch that will need to be filled before the camera can move forward. So your first thought, no matter what time it is, is where are our staff members, where are our students? Although fixing the pipes will be a headache, Superintendent Fletcher is just thankful no one was hurt. In Lawrence County, Marianne Fletcher, WYMT Mountain News. Now, there is no fire damage to the building. An Eastern Kentucky teacher charged with sexual abuse is now facing new charges. State police arrested James Cornett over the weekend. He's already accused of having sexual contact with two students at Owsley County High School. Troopers say Cornett is now facing two more charges of sexual abuse. Today was definitely a great way to start off the holiday week. We had temperatures near 60 with plenty of sunshine. We actually hit exactly 60 degrees at the National Weather Service in Jackson. So overall above average temperatures thanks to winds out of the south. And the sun is now beginning to set and it's a beautiful sunset with clear, clear skies. Gorgeous colors as well as the sun goes down. Temperatures are starting to go down as well. We are in the 50s for the most part. Middlesbrough, the cool spot right now in the upper 40s. Everybody else, you're going to need a jacket heading out this evening, but overall we're still seeing those temperatures above average heading into the evening as well. And those clear skies are holding strong as we head into the evening as well. Just a few passing clouds is all that we have to deal with, and we're going to see that trend continue throughout the early overnight hours. And we do have more sunny skies on the way, but unfortunately we also do have a few rain chances that look to escape the holiday travel. However, still may bring some impacts. I'll have details on what you can expect for the holiday travel here in just a little bit, Steve. All right, Kelly, thank you. More help for families dealing with drug addiction is coming to southeastern Kentucky. Today, House Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and the nation's drug czar went to Manchester for the opening of a new center that is only one of four like it in Kentucky. WYMT's Phil Pendleton has more on how folks say the center will help with the opioid epidemic. Elected officials on both sides of the political aisle say this is one thing they can all agree on. I think we both believe that we have to work across party lines on. Addressing this drug epidemic is too big of a challenge to get caught up in our differences. Bashir says Republican Senate President Robert Stivers wanted him here for the opening of the Volunteers of America Recovery Community Center. Because we shall go forward, we shall go forward strong, and our best days are yet to come. Stivers welcomed the Senate Majority Leader and the White House drug czar from Washington all the way to Manchester, where drugs have hurt many, and where a unique center will help transition people from addiction back into the community. So what I've done is to dig in, and I think the results are pretty good. $240 million in federal funding for Kentucky's fight against opioid and substance abuse. And under Leader McConnell's direction, we have funded two dozen prevention programs going after kids 18 and under. It'll be called the Freedom House, and it involves everything from a new mountain market to provide jobs and transitional housing for those wanting a life away from drug abuse. 
we can change the world. Together, we've cast stones that are just starting as ripples that I believe will become a wave of change for Clay County and southeastern Kentucky. Construction is also underway on a new center to help expecting mothers deliver healthy babies. In Clay County, Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. Volunteers of America also has several programs that help veterans and currently has more than 40 programs in Kentucky. She was the pride of Russell Springs. Tara Connor made national headlines in April of 2006 when she won the title of Miss USA. But months later, that title was in jeopardy and Donald Trump would step in to give her a second chance. After testing positive for cocaine and allegations of underage drinking, Connor was able to keep her crown but was forced into rehab. She was back in Lexington recently making a stop at the Hope Center. Connor is celebrating 12 years of sobriety and has become an advocate for those battling addiction. The way that I got sober was the way that I was supposed to get sober because I needed that. I needed that mass humiliation. I needed that many people saying, like, there's a problem here. For me to be in even mildly capable of saying, maybe you're right. You can hear more of uh, Connor's story coming up tonight at 11. A Laurel County man who admitted to causing a deadly crash that killed his mother will spend 15 years in prison. Chris Francis pleaded guilty to multiple charges, including second-degree manslaughter, in October. Francis was driving on the wrong side of the road when he hit another car head-on. Police say blood work showed he was high on meth at the time of the crash. Francis' mother, Holly Francis, was a passenger in his car and died. In Pulaski County, a mother is charged with endangering the welfare of a minor. Somerset police say Erica Marr was yelling at her boyfriend, Tyler Fleming, at a home on Ringgold Road. Officers could smell alcohol on Marr. During the investigation, police say they found open beer cans inside the home, along with glasses of wine. Three children were in the home. Marr and Fleming are both charged with alcohol intoxication. After the Kentucky Wildcats picked up their sixth win of the season, the football team will head to its fourth straight bowl game. While this Saturday will not be Cash Daniels' final game of the season now, it will be his senior day on Kroger Field. WIT's Willie Hope has more from Lexington in our Big Blue coverage. Cash Daniel will take Kroger Field one final time on Saturday where Kentucky takes on the team from the western half of the state. The senior has cemented his name in program history with his passion and energy. Now 2019 has been a tough year for Daniel on the field and off the field with the death of his grandfather. Through all that adversity, Daniel has continued to fight for the Wildcats. Last year he had surgeries and had to take care of his body in the off season. It took him a long time to get healthy this year as the year goes on. Same thing, he has some ups and some downs and gives it everything he's got. And uh, I'm really proud of Cash and what he's done and, and um, you know, overcoming some adversity and things that maybe not everybody knows about. But the young man gives us everything he's got all the time. We love him, he's a great teammate and uh, he's ready to go. He'll be back out there ready to go uh, this week. So um, proud of him and the things he's had to overcome. I'm sure all of Paintsville will fill this place one final time when Cash takes the field on Saturday. I'll have more on the Cats in-state rival out west coming up at 6 in sports. For now, from Kroger Field, Willie Hope, WYMT Mountain News. The Wildcats will host the Louisville Cardinals on Saturday, and Tommy Poole will have more coming up in sports. And coming up in just a moment here at 530, we'll show you how students in Eastern Kentucky and the Bronx, New York, are learning life lessons from one another. We do have a few rain chances in our future, but it's not going to be as bad as it looks right here. I'll have more details coming up.